Mataru, the main character, is an average high school student. He finally managed to go out with Mikuta, his senior, who he always had a crush on. Mikuta, however, has a side to her that she cannot tell anybody about. What kind of a secret could the smart, beautiful and popular girl be hiding? Hopefully we'll be discovering that through this game. Hello everyone, my name is Flair Blitz here and welcome to Mikuta Nikki. Now this is a game that's also made by the same person who also made the Dark Side of Red Riding Hood and a few other games as well which I've yet to try out within my course of doing Let's Plays of RPG Mega Horror Games but I heard this one's quite good and I say why not they made the Dark Side of Red Riding Hood Sharon has and I'm thinking why not do this one as well as is a very good thing to stand on okay this game contains violence and grotesque deceptions the story is a work of fiction fiction any resemblance to anything is a coincidence presented by Sharon there we go Uh, Mikota, I like you Mikota, please go out with me. So what would make this horror? Hey. Ah. Huh? M M Mitaru? Are you serious? Okay, we could give him choices. So what do we do here? I'm serious. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mataru. I know you're not the kind of guy to say something like that as a joke. Mm, well, for now, I guess I'll go out of you. He'd be good to me, Mataru. You sure are cheerful, Mataru. Hehe, <laughs> I like that in a person. Now, with these multiple choice games, selecting an option can vary depending on the personality of the Let's Player, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> so, I wonder if picking a different choice will lead to a different ending. And so, I began dating Makuta, the girl of my dreams. Ooh. She had a nice face and a nice personality and she could do anything that she wanted. She had both brain and beauty. Naturally, she was popular with guys throughout the school. What allowed me to get close to Mikuta was that I was her junior in our club. Ooh. Mikuta always treated me really nicely. That's not the only reason why I fell in love with her though. I was, trying to, I was charmed by her cheeky, kind personality and also her somewhat mysterious aura. Is that one of the secrets about her? But how do I really feel about her? Hmm. I... Let's just keep it simple and straightforward. Choice games. Hey. Alright, come on in. It's been ages since I had anyone over to play. I'm going to stuff you with a ton of food. Okay. Eh. Pardon me intrusion or a ton of food sounds great. Go ahead and take it easy. After all, I'm the only one home today. What would happen, sir? Mataru. Oh, hey, Mataru, remind me, do you like black tea? We'll go with a good round. Really? That's great. I love peach black tea, and I was hoping you'd like mine. I haven't tried black tea before. Comment down if what it's like. <laughs> really? That's great. I love peach black tea, and I was really hoping you'd like mine. That's not all I have, though. I also have apple and muzak tea, but I always have. I sorry, I always make my peach tea whenever I have a special guest over. Oh, that reminds me, Mataru. How late can you stay over? Uh, I don't really mean that in a strange way or anything, really. <laughs> it's not set in stone. 
Yeah. Uh, okay. I can't have you stay too long, though. Your mama will worry. But I don't want you to leave without having eaten dinner. I'm going to do my best to make it. Aww. Um... We'll ask me better questions. What are you going to make? It's a secret. Is that one of the secrets? <laughs> You'll have to enjoy it later. I've just noticed that her legs are cut off. Did you not draw the arts fully, or is that me? What is that? What we're gonna get? Because when you skip through and the box is dis box disappears. You can see that she only has half a body. Is that what her secret is? Is she a floating ghost? Sit back and relax, Wataru. You can watch TV if you're bored. Why? Oh, we can move now. Excellent. Oh, we can't save. Run away like a bat and uh, run away like a bat out of hell. <laughs> Dick, you could probably escape from caves with this. Sniff, sniff. Oh, Equipment. Oh, you have to state that, don't you? <laughs> you have to state that the accessory he has is underwear. Surely that's part of the uniform. There's not much trash in here. What else? There's a teacup here with a few sips taken from your tea inside. The tea has already gone cold. There's some warm peach tea in the teapot. Up. It's a clock. There doesn't seem to be anything weird about it. There's a calendar here. It's an intercom. There doesn't seem to be anything weird about it. You keep using the word weird. There are teacups arranged in neat rows in the cabinet. I guess this is Mikuta's collection. Mikuta's favourite dimeware are arranged here. Thank you very much. There are various items here. What can we find here? Various items. It's a fridge. There are various foodstuffs in the refrigerator. It's a faucet. I don't need any water right now. Don't need any faucet. A bunch of pots and kettles are stored here. I'm making the food right now. You can just sit back and relax, Mataru. But please don't wander around too much. You can't go into my room. It's not like it's messy or anything, but it is a girl's room. It'd be embarrassing to have you looking around all my stuff. Oh, okay. So which one of these is your room? I'm guessing it's probably the door to the right. Or the door to the left. One of two options. Oh, uh, nah, I wasn't in there. I promise. It's locked. <laughs> Can I just leave? Is it evening clothes? Mikuta making food for me. I should wait here to finish. Covered in shoes. Inside a shoe cupboard, there are several pairs of shoes in neat rows. They're quite dusty. What about the TV? You know what? We'll just ignore what she says. I offer my save point services for the nation. Care to save? Indeed. We shall save upon the world. Mikuta's confusion, mess with our commission. There's a little bit of trash in the trash can, nothing of note. True. Why is there only one door? Lots of difficult looking books on the shelf. Various books of stationery, a bookshelf, a there's a picture on the shelf. A picture of Mikuta and what appears to be her mother and father. She doesn't look very happy. Other stuff? There was a test at school today. Of course, I did as well on it as I did on all the others. I'm a genius, so there's no problem I can't solve. 
I've got bat. <laughs> That's it. That's all we're looking at, okay? Turn it on. I turned the TV on. There isn't anything particularly interesting on right now. Let's turn it back off. Leave it off. Okay. Come to the entrance. Are you telling us to do something? Are you? There. Uh, come to the entrance. For what? Inside the shoe cupboard, there are several pairs of shoes in neat rows. They're quite dusty. There's a torn... Whether it was cooking, studying, or dressing nicely, Mikuta just loved them all and enjoyed doing them whenever she got the chance. But, 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 my wallet. Mikuta was always out of money. Well, Mikuta was always out of money. So, since she didn't have an allowance, her only choice was to get a part-time job. Mikuta has it pretty hard. I'm sure, I'm sure wish someone would come save me. Uh, what I want? What I want right now is, hmm, let's see. Some clothes, a bag, a reference book, a notebook, and some pens. A recipe book. There are just too many things I want. The entry ends here. A long close expression. Something is written on the back in small letters. Do you like black tea? You got yeah, I do like black tea. But why do you keep leaving these things here for me? It's like you're doing it on purpose. And who are you, Bunny? Thank you very much for the offer your services. Uh, the black tea. There's some warm peach tea in a teapot. Looking more closely, there's something on the bottom of the teapot. It's a torn diary scrap. Yeah, somehow I got confessed to again. It's hard being so popular, but, um, I wonder if he's the type that just wants to go out without taking it seriously. Could he really be the guy for me? Uh, I want to have a real meaningful relationship. I, I can't go out with someone useless I fall in love with, uh, with, love with them first. I'm not going to let myself get played by any weird guy that comes along. Staying over. I don't know, am I staying over? Am I staying over? Am I... Calendar? Phone? Am I staying over? What are these for though? Staying over. Staying over. Where does this get horror? When does this game get all right? Maybe you should run out while you can. I'm making food right now. You should stay, stay back and relax, Mitaru. But please don't wander around too much. I got it. Good. <sighs> Wait, staying over. Um, torn scrap diary. Yeah, I've been thinking it sure would be nice if I could have a happy life, having a fantastic relationship, working a great job, spending time with the happiest family in the world, and I love with my and I sorry I play with my kids a ton. Every day would be lots of fun, and at the end of the day, I want to get in bed with my wonderful husband. Of course, I don't mean that in a weird way. The entry ends here. Upon, upon closer inspection, someone, something is written on the back of it in small letters. These are for guests to wear. Guests to wear? What do you mean by that? Luckily this game doesn't have too many places to go to. Guests to wear. Oh, to wear. Shoes? I don't think they're shoes. Evening gown. I have a guest slippers. There's a torn diary scrap. Read it. Oh man, oh man, I've had some I've had some really great news today. See, 
There's this guy who kind of had my eye on. His name's Yukima. Yukimawa. And guess what? He told me he likes me. <laughs> I got confess too. So because of that, I'm in a totally good mood. There are plenty of guys who say they like me, but they never. But they're never the guys who I'd actually like to hear a confess from. It kind of bums me out. <clears throat> I decided to give this little crush of mine a charm to bloom. Though, I wonder if you, Kuma, will be able to understand me. The entry ends here. A blonde coastal expression with something written in the back of in small letters. A cold stare. Cold stare? A cold stare. A cold stare. What do you mean by a cold stare? Let's just look around a bit. A cold stare of things. Let's look around to see if there's anything else we can do. Cold stare. One of the teapots. What do we do? A cold stare. There isn't many objects here, so it shouldn't take too much time to figure all of these things out. Not much trash in here. Cold over oh, fridge. Right next to her. No one understands me. Not dad, not mom, not my friends. Not one single person understands me. Endurance there. Uh, well, study. Study area. Of course. Why wouldn't it be? Hello. I'm going to save again. Study over here. Books and other things, decorating stuff. Picture in here. Lots of different books. There's something inside one of the textbooks. This is a torn diary scrap. Yes. You know, I'm trying my best. I really am. But why? Because I want to make mum and dad happy. That's all I. Te that's what I tell myself. I. I don't know why I'm trying so hard. I try so hard. It's not like I'm particularly smart. And yet I study, study, study. I'm forced to study. But there's no real point to it. Shut up, shut up, shut up. The entry ends here. Long closer inspection. Something gets written on the back in the small letters. If you break it, you're paying for it. Um. Save what? Break what? What do I think that? It's probably breakable. No. What could be breakable? Ah, some of these things. Something written between the two of the plates is a diary scrap. You know, I love to cook. Omelettes with rice are my speciality. I can make any man mine with just one bite. As if. But really, everyone always tells me it tastes good. And that makes me want to make them even more. So, I think someday, I'd like to open up my own shop. I don't know when, but someday, I'm going to become a super awesome chef that everyone will be jealous of. Upon close inspection, something is written on the back of in small letters again. Evening goat. Evening goat. Evening goat. So basically, we're just going around finding small scraps of the diary. But at the same time, I wonder if these are actually in order. Here's Mikuto's evening clip. Inside the pocket, there's a torn diary scrap. My name is Takashika Mikuta. I'm a third year old, no, a third year high school student, an internal. 
eternal 17 year old. My speciality is cooking naturally. I'm a member of a cooking club. I'm also in the tennis club, but I rarely ever go. You should go more often. For some reason, people call me popular, but am I really that charming? I don't really know about that kind of stuff. And trying to make myself more appealing is kind of a pain. Uh, but I never skip classes and I always study the way I'm supposed to. I'm always the one with the highest test scores. When I end up at the top, mum and dad are really happy. When I don't, the entry ends here. Long close expression, something is written on the back in small letters. Gonna throw it away. A bin of some sorts. A bin of some sorts. Not much trash in here inside the trash can. There's a torn diary scrap. Read it again. Hey, hey, hey. Ever since that one day, I feel like it's gotten more fun around here. I don't know what mum's saying anymore. I don't understand what dad's saying either. So funny, funny, funny. I'm so funny. <laughs> During that moment, I thought, it's quiet now. Maybe they won't do anything to me anymore. It's like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I feel like I can do anything. Upon closer inspection, something is written on the back in small letters. Go to the garden. Something shiny is inside the trash can. You got the storage room key. Right. Um, what can we discover in this garden? What could I discover in this garden? Storage room must be here. Ah. There's something in the drawer. There's a book in the drawer. There's a rather foggy mirror. A syringe is lying on the floor. Empty. Some medicine inside. Several syringes tightly packed inside. It's a plant. It's a wardrobe with a mirror attached. Mirror attached. With a bunch of emergency goods sitting in the box. Take the flashlight. I thought I, I thought I heard the door there. Could belong to Makuta's dad. Okay, so I'm out in the garden. There's a trash can here. A bunch of kitchen ref refuse is inside. Red flower. I don't know what kind it is. A red flower in here. Pink flower here seems to be taken up quite nicely. There's a well maintained flower here. Inside the dirt, there's a torn diary scrap. Read it. It's not like anyone is going is gonna understand me. I study all the time and I think I might have just gone a bit crazy. What am I doing? The entry ends here. <laughs> I don't know what that hell that means. Maybe it's a sound effect. Maybe it's a sound effect. Yeah, maybe it is a sound effect. I don't know. Maybe it's something that is off by sound basis. Maybe it is something by sound basis. Um, doesn't look very happy. Huh. All I heard was there's a noise of sorts. But of what exactly? Of what exactly? Of what exactly? And there we may. Hello. Mitaru, it's, always, it's almost ready, unless you just can't wait anymore. What's up? You look kind of scary. Are you not feeling well? Are you okay? I'm fine. Really? Don't push yourself too hard. Um, Mitaru. You know, I think um, I might really like you. Is that okay with you? Eh, yeah, I'm glad. 
just kidding. That was all a joke, just pretend it never happened. But I might like to hear your answer later on. Wait, what? This isn't how it's supposed to go. You're the one who confessed to me. <laughs> Mysterious. So, slave safe slot eleven. Uh, nothing particular on. Nothing particular on. Hmm. What do we do in this situation? Not much trash in here. Let's just investigate everything again. Nightstand with a drawer, books and other shelf things, picture. Doesn't look very happy. Bookshelf, bookshelf. Makuda's closet. A little bit of trash in the trash can, but of nothing note. Book, floor. Wonder if there's something in the floor. Makuda's evening clothes, pair of slippers, shoe cupboard, cupboard of shoes. It's all good in our department here. Look in a drawer, rather foggy mirror attached to the back. Is it torn? Yeah. Today I invited Yukima over for a special treat. I wiped him, so I whipped him up, so I whipped him up a batch of my best food. He said it was delicious. I was so happy. Of course, I thought about making my special peach tea, but Yukima seemed a bit different, so I made moose cut tea instead. He kept asking me what was in my closet which made me angry. I was scared of what would happen, but he wouldn't let up. What a meanie. I thought he would just under he would understand though, so I just left him alone. Yukima is gone now. Upon closer inspection, something is written on the back in small letters. Strange medicine. Oh golly. Oh golly. Oh golly. There's like there's something inside it. It's a torn diary scrap. Breaking a lot of stuff. Injury is here. When was it? The clock or the calendar? It would seem. Somehow I always feel that no music feels very haunting, as if like something's bound to happen. Canada here. As I flip the page, something falls out. It's a torn diary scrap. Read it. My fault. It is my fault. Whenever I'm around, everyone's unhappy. I'll just stop. I'll get involved with anyone. If I stopped, I stopped, I stopped. It will all be better. My birthday is the key. If you really care about me, you'll understand, right? Um, birthday is the key. Birthday. Um, look at the calendar here. Birthday. 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 Not much in the trash can. Isn't any room. Let's turn it back off. Trash can. No birthday. Fridge. There is food in the refrigerator. Fast it. I am. Um, I think I might have messed up the food. I'm sorry. I even got. I even got your hopes up and everything. Uh, I don't want to cry. It's okay. Huh? You'll forgive me. Miss Haru, thank you. I'm really sorry. But I'll start doing it over right now. I really want you to taste my cooking. Uh-huh, my birthday? 
Oh, let me guess, you want to celebrate it, huh? That makes me happy. All right, then I'll do you a favour just this once and tell you. Mikoto was born on April the 27th. Keep it a secret from everyone else. <laughs> April the 27th, okay. What do we do from there then? What do we do from this point on? So, birthdays in. Birthdays in. Items. My birthday is the key. April the 27th. Hmm. I wonder if there's a lock around here somewhere. Birthday is a key. Birthday is the key. Or maybe it's on the calendar. I don't know. To be honest, I don't really want to know. Okay, she's hiding some sort of secret, but what kind of secret would you imagine it would be? Or maybe the secret is different depending on which route you travel along. Syringes lying on the floor. Book in a drawer. Hmm. Calendar. Phone. Clock. Doesn't seem to be anything weird about it. Huh. What to do? What to do? What to do? Four two seven. User Takashi Kimikuka. Date. My, my name is Takashi Mikuta. I live with my mom and dad. My dad's a businessman, a really, really plain one at that. He's so incredibly average, it's scary. He plainly found a job, plainly fell in love, plainly got married. Plainly, oh. Plainly goes out about his daily life. In other words, he's just an ordinary, completely unextraordinary father. My mom works too. She's not much around, you're not around too much. She makes more than my dad. She won't tell me what she does. I think she tries to stay out of the house as long as possible to avoid dad's drunk rampages. I know how she feels. I really wish I could run away too. But if I have left, I doubt dad would be able to fe feed himself. I'm keeping a diary. I think the true value of a diary comes out when someone else reads it. Da 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 da! Right now, you're reading your thoughts. That I've never shown to others. I think I wrote this because I wanted someone to help me. I'm currently keeping uh, keeping the two under the surveillance. They seem to have changed quite a bit since last week. They resisted at first, but now they're actually afraid of me. I cook their food. I don't give them chopsticks. They eat with their hands. I tell them that's just the way we do things around here. I tried teaching them something. After all, teaching people helps me improve as well. Neither of them took it seriously at all. They didn't pay much attention to what I want. You're a demon child, they, th they yelled at me. So I punished them. I let them go a week without any food. When I went to check up on them, Dad was dead. Mum was wasting them. Oh, golly, what a dark story to this game. She no longer had the energy to cry or even glare at me. When I called out to her, she didn't respond. I was trembling in my bed. I was scared and thinking that I might have gone past the point of no return. I... It looks like it ends here. The closer, there's something stuck on the bottom of a keyboard. It's a torn diary scrap. There's no turning back now. You want to know my secret, don't you? I'll tell you. Just open the door.
um, which one exactly? It's pitch black inside. I can't even see what's in my own feet. It might be best if I have something to light up before going inside. Go inside, yes. Hmm. Inside the closet. Dead bodies. Lying inside the closet are several unidentifiable corpses. A thick stench provides the air inside the closet. It smells like a mixture of garbage and vomit. The corpses have no external visible wounds. Do they starve to death? There's one female and two males. There must be mother's father, mother, father, and Lady Gima. I think I should probably just pretend that I never saw any of this. Leave the closet, yeah. What are you doing, Matua? I'm pretty sure I asked you not to go in my room. So you sure it, huh? My secret? Mataro, are you shaking? It was hard for me, you know. We listen to what I have to say. Thanks. Well, when I was little, I wasn't the kind of girl who could do anything like I am now. The old me was nothing like what people think I am now. I was the kind of girl that everyone wanted to bully. I looked really shabby, I was always super gloomy and I was done and easily fooled. Even mum and dad gave up on me. You really can't do anything, they told me, over and over and over, day after day. I tried hard. I tried really, really hard. Even if my friends and teachers are always a lost cause, I didn't want my parents to throw me away. After a lot of hard work, I eventually got to where I am today. The old me no longer existed. I had thrown it away by changing myself. I changed everything about me. Both my attitude and appearance became bright and cheery. I was loved by everyone. No one would bully me anymore. That's what I thought. But mom and dad still wouldn't accept me. They still didn't understand me. Even though I worked so hard, they still wouldn't accept me. They wouldn't accept me. So I thought maybe I should try giving them a proper upbringing. I thought if I worked my butt off to raise them right with plenty of love, they would become good kids. So I took care of mom and dad every day. I gave it my best every single day. I made so much yummy food for them. There would eventually be a day when they came around to understand me. I truly believed that. But I messed up. Mum and Dad went cold. It was almost as if they stopped breathing altogether. There was no point to it anymore. I was beginning to wonder if there was even a point in living anymore. But then Yukima showed up. He told me he lied to me. So I thought maybe he would be able to understand me. But Yukima, he found out about my secret and it scared him. He tried to run away and I caught him. I had a feeling that things were getting out of hand. It was scary. So I got Yukima to stay here with me. Forever like mum and dad. Mitaru, are you going to run away too? What would I want to do in a situation? I'll tell you what. We'll do this in order. Oh, so you think you're running away, Mataru? You think you can run away from me? But why? I thought you lied to me. I guess that's how it is, huh? You telling me you lied to me? That was just a lie. I ran as fast as my legs would carry me. Makuta ran after me, but she didn't come out, out of the house. I figured this was for the best. To think that Makuta was a crazed murderer. It sent a chill down my spine. I was together with a nun. <laughs> I was nearly tripping over myself in exhaustion. Just as I decided to take a break, I heard a voice from behind. From behind. 
Matara, I caught you. Bad end wand, one from behind. Hello. Oh, golly. Thank you very much. Bad end. Bad end. Thank you very much. It was great knowing all of that. So, I believe we'll come back to this stage when we... Uh... Oh, also I'm out of time as well, but also I want to see the other endings as well, because if that's the first bad ending, then I'm sure that there are other bad endings, as hopefully there will be as well a good ending or a true ending to the game. So, hope you enjoyed it, folks, and we got to the first bad ending of this game, and we shall see each other on the next time at Vakuta Nikki. Have a wonderful day, folks, and take care of yourselves.